Hi, my name is Trammy, and I actually have not posted on this channel for a solid eight months or more. Why is this relevant? And why am I coming back right now? <laughs> have you read the title? It's to do with that. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, what better way to come back to YouTube than explaining why I've kind of left and why you might kind of avoided things in your life and how we're both going to stop that, right? We're going to stop delaying our lives until we feel or look a certain way because that ain't fun, girl. That ain't it. I have avoided YouTube for a very, very long time. And it's because I had no idea what I wanted from it. As well as I didn't feel like I was the best version of myself that everyone has seen. Yeah. <laughs> That is it. I don't feel like my mental health has been as great as it has in the past, nor do I feel the fittest that I've ever been. So I didn't feel like I deserve to be on camera. Yeah. And although I didn't think specifically, hey, this girl doesn't deserve to be on camera, I unconsciously thought that, right? Because if I didn't want to film a video because I didn't like the way that I looked, it was because I didn't respect the way that I look right now. And I was respecting a version of me that literally didn't exist in the past or in the future or may never exist. I don't think even the idea of the person that I used to be was exactly the person that I used to be. <laughs> I think I've made up a different version of that person in my head. But I'm done. We're done with that, right? Now, realistically, will you ever be that person? Maybe you will one day, but at the same time, you never bloody know. And I think the pandemic, uh, the situation that happened to all of us, for several years basically explained that you never really know what tomorrow is going to hold you don't know who you're going to be you don't know the experiences that you're going to go through time is limited guys time is limited i also think that this can be encapsulated this feeling can be encapsulated with the feeling of getting sick right you know when you're just living your life and then you get that tickle in the back of your throat and you're like fuck <laughs> i wish i had just like embraced life before I got sick. Because now I feel really shit. And I can't do the things that I wanted to do. The next thing that concerns me about this <laughs> mindset that we're having. Is that we're saying that the person that we are now. Is not deserving of actually living their life. Or obtaining opportunities for themselves. That is self-sabotage. That is self-punishment. That is not being a really nice person to yourself. Say you were dating someone. Or you had a friend. And they were like. Oh. I really don't like you right now, but if you did this and this and this and you changed on, I could potentially like you. Say it was your partner and they were like, oh, I don't love you right now, but like I could love you if you did this and this and this. Like, wouldn't you think that they were an asshole? Because I would. So why are you being an asshole to yourself? Like, I don't really want to be friends with an asshole. So why am I like constantly spending time with one? Like, why am I constantly in a room, constantly within myself, who is an asshole? Okay. Okay, so this doesn't mean that you don't actually have to work on being the best version of yourself. It just means that you shouldn't wait for whatever version of you that you like have imagined, right? And I want to take up space. This girl deserves to take up space in this world. I shouldn't have to stay quiet or small. Take up space, bitch. Be delusional, be crazy, be cringy, be you. You deserve it. I hope that little pep talk helped some people out. For those who kind of want a little bit of an update on how my life has been, um, it has been well. Oh, wait, has it? <laughs> the first thing is that I've moved and I'm in my own home now, which is very exciting. I also finished my law degree and also finished my practicing legal certificate as well. So technically, I am a lawyer. I just need to apply to the Supreme Court and get like a formal ambition. Frankie is living with me, but currently... Currently, she is on a vacation of one day to my parents' house. <laughs> I'm still running my businesses. I took a break for like a couple of months, which is the first time I've ever taken a break in like five years. And it was so helpful. I feel like I've stepped back. I felt like I could finally appreciate what I had accomplished. I looked at the stuff that I made and I was like, oh my God, I made this. And I've never felt that way before, which is kind of like shocking. Um, so it was really good to like kind of step back and be like, oh, I, I did this thing. I'm working as well. I work in the justice system in like the area of project program management. I love it so much. And I'm so glad that I found a good balance because when I was working 
full time, I hated it. And when I was doing my business full time, I hated it. And I love doing both now and finding a good balance between them. Sometimes it's tricky. Sometimes it's not that tricky. I'm glad that I had like specific periods with those different aspects where I could commit to them for a longer amount of time to kind of automate a lot of the things that have happened. For example, when I worked on my business full time, I learned to automate a lot of the things in preparation for like the next phase in my life. I also learned a lot of lessons in business and in life um, over the last couple of months. Honestly, I didn't have a great start to 2022. It was kind of chaotic and wild, but I'm in a, a better place right now. But if you're watching this, essentially, I want to create discussion types of videos as well as vlog style videos. I would love to know if you have been following me or from what you can gather from this video, what you would like to see. I won't know. Like, I don't know if I can necessarily say that I will do that type of stuff, but I would love to hear about what you would want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion and it encouraged you to stand up and do something that you have been putting on hold until you felt like you were the right type of person for it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.